here is one of the most important videos that i create okay because you really need this i can tell you anything i can come to you and give you a weight from the lord directly and all these things but if you do not do what i'm doing nine times out of ten it will go it will all fall apart things won't be exactly what you expected okay so please listen and follow what i'm about to tell you because this is a guide almost like when you are being told or taught or told on how to maintain your prophecy how to uh, maintain your blessings how to maintain so listen when it comes to the things of the lord that there is maintaining you get what i'm saying you know very well there is no way that God can bless you and you, you, you do whatsoever. There are some blessings that need you to maintain. If you decide to go another route at all, there is no way you can maintain. You get what I'm saying? So now, this is very important. Uh, I, I don't I remember if I'm talking exactly uh, about this, exactly how I'm going to talk about this right now, okay? So I want to talk actually about what I've been talking about. I think this whole week, this has been like the topic of the week, okay? Uh, when someone comes back into your life because these things what i'm saying is real i also recently just prophesied myself about that and it happened exactly and i was not talking about a lover i was talk actually talking about a friend back into my life so um it happened and it was something which i never thought and that oh, so that was an actual prophecy okay so this one thing that you must understand when somebody comes back into your life it's one thing uh, for them to come back and it's another thing for them to remain into your life and for them to remain into your life has so many different factors okay it can they can be influenced by how you act towards them and it can also be influenced by the intentions they had when they come back into your life and also you can influence or you can test or you can make them now come back for real or you can make them now stay away from you if they were not having good intentions. And what am I saying? Let, now I'm becoming more clear and clear, okay? Uh, I want you to understand that the reason, that's why they say most people when they break up even in a relationship, there is a cause. There is something that they were not getting along with. That's why it's most likely that ex-lovers, when they get back together, they again break up because what made them to break up in the first place is the very same thing so but then again unless that is to change the breakup will still happen that's one thing you must understand okay and so far if you're enjoying this video it will be nice if you just like and subscribe if you're watching me for the first time okay and remember to hit that notification bell on your right because i'll be uploading more content on a daily basis so listen very well it's important that you take care or get rid of whatever was causing you guys to misunderstand one another. Hence, when you go to a new partner, you encounter a different problem compared to your previous partner. Isn't it always the case, mostly the case? And that's when some people are able to make comparisons that where I was, it was worse or it was better. So Because there are comparisons, but at the end of the day, everywhere you go, there will always be problems. But then you have to decide which problems are you able to endure and which ones are, are resolvable and which ones can't be resolved. Hence, you have to look at the person that comes back into your life. Remember my words when this person contacts you. This is what, in fact, I'm dealing with what I'm talking about here. I started talking about it before I dealt could deal with it, but now it came to me. But here is the most important thing that I want to tell you right now. Oh, this video will get me in trouble, but I have to say this, okay? Um, eesh, but this person does not watch my videos, but I have to, okay? So listen, for example, let me just uh, give you an example, a good example. Uh, I remember this friend of mine who just came back into my life right now. And um, yeah, let me just cut the long story short. So, but whatever separated us, it was the thing it had to do with money. The friend was owing me money. Instead of telling me that they can't pay it back because it's hard, they just decided to keep quiet. And I just kept it like that to me. I was like, oh, okay, let me also just keep quiet. Because it's obvious this guy is, go is, is ghosting me. So I let it like that. And then we never spoke for like uh, a year and a half. So the person came back and I, uh, we've been close friends. You know, that's the reason why it was easy for me to maybe just accept them back. 
And then one thing that I predicted, even the other video I just made this other day, if you can check it, I spoke about this. Um, the person came back and it seems like they are going through a lot and all these things. So the person ended up borrowing, uh, not borrowing, in fact, this time they just asked, they just asked for the money for assistance. And then I decided to, you know what? Okay, let me just assist you financially, you know? But then the way in which I assisted, the person asked me for a certain amount, but in my heart, I felt like assisting, but assisting in a way that makes me feel comfortable. And I just told him, you know what? Uh, I can be able to help you with this amount. I can't give you more. Although I knew that I, I'm capable of giving more, but I wanted to give an amount that to me, I would still feel okay. Even if maybe the friend starts doing the same thing, maybe they decide to act up in the near future. I won't feel hurt that, ah, but so much man after. you, get, I won't feel used to put it simple. It's a money that I feel like, you know what? My heart is willing to give away such money without me thinking about it, worrying and all these things. So as a result, this is what I'm trying to tell you. When somebody comes back into your life, don't be quick to let them use you, especially if with people who come and use you. If you, it's either you don't help them at all, if you don't feel comfortable, or if you feel tempted to help or to do whatever they you, as you once did that separated you, Let's just take maybe you're in a romantic relationship and the lady always asking for money and there'll come a time where as a man, she just ghosted you and you, you were always worrying that, but I used to do things for her, but she still ran out on, on me or she still cheated on me or whatsoever, but I still love her and all. And she comes back and you know that the one of the major things that hurt you the most was because you spent so much money on her. The second time she comes back around, the rest are short because she obviously loves so much money. She's going to ask for money. So now it's up to you to, if you're still tempted to be with that person, ask yourself, if I'm, if they start asking money again, how do I deal with it? Will I be okay? Won't it worry me? And if you feel like, no, this is one thing that I won't repeat again because I was heartbroken, thought about the things that I bought. But then if you feel like one way or another, we, I cannot totally not give her money. At least ask yourself, what if I was to give her less as compared to the last previous time? Would that still hurt me even if she's to run off, even though I was giving her less money as compared to last time? And you feel like, ah, oh, nah, if at least I was giving her half of the money or even quarter of the money, uh, it wouldn't do anything to me because I have so much money, by the way. But if I give her more than, that's when it's going to start to hurt. So yes, you give yourself, you measure the, your own standard of not feeling hurt. Things that you are willing to compromise the second time around, that even if the person repeats the same thing, You'll just laugh it out and you won't even think about it. When you give them $5, for example, uh, depending on the currency that you're using, if you feel that $5 to you is nothing and to them, because maybe they are broke or what, they feel it so much, let it be an amount that you feel like, ah, it will be like tickling me. But don't give them $100 and you know, if they start running and start acting up, it's going to oh, do things. In fact, what in to, to sum what I'm saying up is a but people, usually when they come back, it's because they miss something about you. And some of the things are selfish motives that they're having. But then some people, if they, they haven't you heard the saying that you teach people how to treat you. So if you can make somebody train them that I will not do this, I can do this. It's like you adjust them to come to your level. And so when they come back, Shift yourself. Do only what will make you feel good. Just like them, when they come back into your life, they have they they are not scared to just tell you that. To some people, especially those who find that you are sleeping with that person outside of marriage already, that man is not scared to just tell you he wants to sleep with you. But you are scared to say no to him. That lady is not scared to say, to say give me this amount of money, but you are scared to say to her no. And even though she hears you complaining about the money that you don't like this, although he hears you complaining that you don't want to do this, you feel bad, it's, it's sin before the Lord, he does not care. Hence, that's why I tell you that the same thing, you should also not care so much. Okay? You should also not care so much about it. But let it be according to how you are okay. And of course, that's all I had. Someone just disturbed. So we will talk in the next video. But that's all I wanted to say. Bye bye.